Am I the arsehole? For calling the police on my ST Bex mill? I split from my ST Bex husband three months ago on the day our son was born. This is because I am ginger, my husband is blonde but our baby came out with dark hair. He freaked out in the delivery room and his behavior got him kicked out the hospital. I had to beg him to do a paternity test and he finally agreed after a month, and it proved that I didn't cheat. We had been together since we were 13 so I was devastated and all I wanted was him back, but I've come to my senses and decided that someone who believes that school level punnet squares are the be all and end all of biological inheritance is not the type of person I wanna be with. I was also treated like crap by everyone but my older brother, Alex, while we were waiting for the results because they all thought I had cheated. It was a horrible experience and as a result, I've lost many friends and family members. Since the results came back, my ex has been begging me to get back with him. I moved in with Alex after we split, and he comes almost every day to beg me to get back with him. My in-laws have also been harassing me too, especially my mill who has come over four times in the past week asking me to forgive her son and to let God back into my heart. I used to be a Christian and so are all my in-laws and my family, but how I was treated when my baby was born made me lose faith fast. The whole church community treated me like trash during this whole ordeal and it made me want nothing to do with them anymore and I don't want to raise my son in that sort of community. Yesterday, my mill turned up to Alex's when he wasn't here, and she had the pastor from the church I used to attend with them. They practically forced their way in, and I was being berated like a child for not forgiving my ex's lapse in judgment. The pastor basically sat there and said I would be going to hell if I didn't take my ex back. I excused myself to use the bathroom, and called the police. Pastor and Mill were escorted out. Now, I'm being harassed on social media and being called and texted by literally everyone that knows both me and my ex and his family. They're calling me the R for going nuclear and calling the police on two people who weren't being threatening and they're demanding that I apologize immediately. I'm starting to feel bad now because I know they care in their own twisted way and I shouldn't have gone nuclear on them. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole and I'm so proud of you for calling the police on those home intruders that were actively abusing you. Not the asshole. The sooner you're legally untangled from that family the better. Not the asshole one. Do not apologize too. They all went nuclear before you did anything three. Caring in twisted way is worse than not caring at all four. Threatening is a relative term and I think this behavior was threatening five. These people freely and without care harassed you and are continuing to do so, don't feel bad for them. Pity them six. Get the fuck out of Dodge if you can 7. Sorry you're going through this. Not the asshole. And honestly the entire situation with the church is kinda giving off cult vibes. Not the asshole. Ask the pastor and your mill if they harassed the father and told him to forgive you for your lapse in judgment when they all thought you cheated. If they didn't, then they're hypocrites. Not the asshole. Amazing how they're all about forgiveness for his lapse in judgment but oh how they treated you differently when they thought you had your own lapse in judgment. Not really surprised as I've found in life the loudest Christians are usually the least Christian in their actions. Block them all and move on with life. No good comes from having these kinds of people poking their noses in your life. You're not the asshole. Those bastards deserve it. Also, you should have went Armageddon not merely nuclear. Anyone who will freak out in a delivery room is an absolute asshole. The behavior of Mill is completely out of line. I would strongly consider a restraining order against her and X. They all showed their true colors. Not the asshole. I think restraining orders are needed. Nadar. Therese no hate like Christian love. The sooner you get away from this circus the better. Don't apologize, don't look back. They are not worth your time. You did nothing wrong at all whatsoever, don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Not the asshole. 
you protected yourself and your child congratulations from a man who showed you his true colors. You have nothing to apologize for. But there is a long list of people who appear to owe you many apologies. Funny how they didn't think he went nuclear for accusing you and then refusing to do the right thing the DNA test for so long. They don't care in their own way. They control and call that caring. It's abuse. Stay safe. Not the asshole. When people show you who they are, believe them and act accordingly. Your ex mill due to her own actions, absolutely deserved the treatment she got. All this said your STBX blew up your life with his actions. Counseling for yourself is probably a good idea. Not the asshole. Just so I can accurately picture their shocked Pikachu reactions, did you ask them to leave a bunch of times before calling the police? Not the asshole regardless, but I'd love to imagine that they were asked to leave, refused, and then got absolutely shocked at being treated like the trespassers they are. Hang in there. That was a shocking lack of trust from your ex. Weren't being threatening, my ass. They threatened you with eternal damnation as if it were theirs to hand out. Not the asshole. I hope you are keeping record of their harassment for court. If he really cared about you, he'd respect your desire for peace and get all these people to leave you alone or otherwise show some modicum of respect for your feelings. Not the asshole. Proud of you. Keep plugging away at getting your divorce situated. Protection order for those who don't respect your boundaries and escalate. You don't deserve or need the stress. Not the asshole. Classic victim blaming. Congrats on standing up for yourself and your child. Where was their God when they thought you laid with another man? What about judgment? Where the hell is their Christianity? Not the asshole and you were right to call the police you are being stalked and harassed and have rights to your privacy. Holy crap I can't even think straight as I am so angry for you you were abandoned, judged and ridiculed at a very vulnerable time any time is a bad time and now they need forgiveness? Screw these people and threaten a restraining order. Family needs to stay out of it. They forced themselves into you space and made you feel unsafe, not the asshole. You have a child to think of now, you did the right thing. Forced their way into your home, otherwise known as home invasion. They committed a crime, not the asshole. Not the asshole and run. Run fast away from them. Not the asshole. Your ex mill and her pastor broke into the place you're staying when they weren't invited in. That's pretty legal. Maybe they shouldn't trespass. Not the asshole. But why was this situation public knowledge in the church? You are a new mother and everyone in this situation is concerned about how your husband is doing with the consequences of his fuck up. Not the asshole. You need way better support. Not the asshole. So, everyone was quick to assume about you and had lapses in judgment including eel family and the church. Now you're getting threatened with getting sent to hell if you don't take back your husband? What happened to Faith and his trust in you? I don't think so. Don't apologize to anyone here and use your strength to move on. Everyone but you was in the wrong on this.